All right, guys, we got a deck profile for Dragon Zwai, Dieva build. All right, everybody, this is the Mamba, and like you said, we're, we're going to have our Dieva deck build today. And then we just made out a little uh, new set. So, of course, the buddies will be Dieva. Uh, pay three, put up to two monsters from the field into the drop zone. Um, and he has to build a team to where he attacks a monster. I can pay life, and he can restand as many times as I pay life. Um, when he's destroyed, I can pay take two life damage and add any card from the deck to my hand. Okay, so we're going to start with, obviously, four of the buddy. Um, he's it's such a strong card now with the Soul Guard. Uh, with the Soul Guard. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, we do one uh, just paying one life to constantly attack one of the cards they want. They can shield all day and they run out, and then we can just overpower them. Uh, well, uh, next is the one of us. Of course, one inverse on the board. I spoke I pay two, build the top three when it's destroyed, and call it to any, any number of cards that are revealed without paying the call cost. So basically, we can get Diana for free. We can get uh, the other Ozzy the Hawk for free. Uh, just a real strong card. Uh, one Gurk hit. Uh, when he has the field, gain life, then minus five or less, gain another. Gain a gauge. Uh, when he enters, then gain another gauge, minus five or less life. Good card for a gauge engine. Uh, Mirror Blade Dragon SD. Uh, when a monster on my opponent's field is destroyed, I can gain a life and gain a gauge. Um, with, like I said, it's playing, you're not seeing this deck goes different uh, than our other ones. We play a lot of zeros uh, because of, we won't die on the field, but we also want support for Diaba so that uh, we can destroy other cards too, and get more attacks off. Count Dawn, uh, start main phase, pay life, call from the drop zone. Nothing special there. We play four. Return of the Dominant Dragon King Goron. You can pitch a card to gain two gauges off my Flag of Swan. Four Glaciers, pay a life, nullify besides three on the board. This is our nullifier from the deck, one of the nullifiers for the deck. This card is one of our favorite cards. We play against Trey, who's another member, and he hated it. Because this card just basically I will says, kill you. Give, I will physically kill give you. Give a soul, uh, put it in a soul of size three, and it gets soul guard. So you can put it in Diana soul, so when he's destroyed, technically he will be destroyed, but then he's soul guard. So you can add a card right off of that, and then again, if he's destroyed, we put hand two against it. And it goes from hand. Put it in hand. From in hand. You, and you can put it from in hand into soul. And what's good about this is that you can let it destroy it, and you can just search out another one and just keep soul guard going for a couple of Wow. Really good, really good. Uh, Destructor, again, Force 4. This card, this card is really good. Um, you pay two life to draw through your Divine Dark Creation, basically. Nothing more to say about that card, man. It's really good. And another card from a secret pack that we really love is going to be... Let me see this young man's name. His name is Retainer the Divine Dragon, Builder. So when he enters the field, you build the top card with the, uh, to the drop zone. It's going to monster with Dragon attack you, which it will honestly be. Well, you get to draw a card, or you add, you add it to hand, basically. And if it was anything else, you would gain a life. So I mean, this card just lets us basically draw for free by just calling them, and it's free uh, free call costs. And you can use this effect more than once. So like you play one, you can play another over, and just keep uh, recycling it over and over. Uh, next we have Return of the Divine Dragon Bad Egg. Um, this card says that there's a size three on the board, he gets double attack. I mean, again, like we said, we're just playing more zeros in this deck focus because we want to have other cards on the board with Diaba, just so we can keep getting damage in. And also, this can help get rid of stuff too with a two, it's a two one one with double attack. Uh, next we have another size zero, which is Spawn of the Demonic Dragon Rust. Um, when a card on your opponent's field is destroyed, you gain a gauge. This card, again, like I said, with Diaba, just being able to attack as many times as monsters, monsters we want to. Um, it's a 2 1 2, so again, you just gain gauge, just kind of helps um, keep the gauge when you play. Uh, next, we have Spawn of the Demonic Dragon Boost. Ha! Boost, I know you're so this card's effect is when it's put into the field from the drop zone, so of course with a Daiva calls or another uh the Hockey calls, uh, we gain a gauge, and if we have three or more different worlds in our drop zone, we draw a card. Um, just gives us gauge and uh, lets us draw. Um, hand advantage, gauge advantage is what we need to keep up with this deck so we can keep it pushing. Next is another card from the secret pack that we like a lot. It's called uh, Retainer of the Mighty Dragon Foreign Servant. The Mamba in its true form, if you want to think about it that way. Um, so this guy says, uh, at the end of, the uh, the end of its battle, it spins back to hand. And then um, if I have a side three on the board, I gain life. This just keeps keeps just put, uh, getting life. Uh, and like I said, my deck is basically built around zeros and ones that can help Ozzy stay on the field or give us some kind of plus off of it. So this card again will help really good. Um, next we play Spawn of the Demonic Dragon. Already, this is for uh, the Ozzy the, the Day of a Searcher. 
And then when it's put into the field from the drop zone, I pay a gauge and he gets uh, one monster on my field, gets plus two, plus two. So this goes back This goes back to um, these kind of little cards that you can make a 4-1-1. I can't see it. Um, so, uh, it makes them, uh, the egg and the rust a 4-1-1, uh, both on fours. Um, with this double tag ability, it's really good. It benefits um, keeping field pr uh, presence on our side, not your, our opponents. Um, again, another zero. This is uh, Mortain the Demonic Dragon, Arakazi. All Ozzy the Hawkins get plus one crit. Again, with Day Ava, we're going to show, uh, we're going to do a two part right here for this show. Um, this is the this is the original one that searched out the original Ozzy the Hawkins, but um, when he's sent from the field to the uh, drop zone, I pay a life and I can give it something to penetrate. So, with Diva having penetrate plus another crit is four, and with, uh, say, your opponent plays Starjack or something that puts something with Solgar in the center. We can just keep on poking them for that four with Diva's effect, just killing their soul guard and doing four damage. Th with this combo, it's really strong against, um, like I said, Starjack or say you go against a ball, somebody that plays Sun Dragons and they want to put uh, one of their balls with soul guard in the center because they're afraid. Uh, they're trying to keep from dying and, they, and then we just do this play and then drop this. Then we just kind of mess up their home plays. Um, next is Retainer the Demonic Dragon, Arahat Narahat. This searches out the yeah. Golden Buddy Box, Ozzy, but his effect is then I can pay a life to destroy size 2 or less. Uh, again, keeping board presses on our side. And then we play Retainer the Demonic Dragon, Bomb. Um, he is our keep Ozzy from spinning back to the hand or dying by paying a life. Um, again, this, and then this kind of goes with this because it says it can't be destroyed. It keeps him from leaving the field, so this can search out the uses effect to search out a card for to add to our hand. And then last but not least, we play two of uh, Great Demonic End Dragon Ozzy Haka and two of uh, Dev Devastation Deity of the Old World Ozzy Haka. So the reason we still play these Ozzy Haka, even though these aren't our ideal Ozzy's to have on board, is because when the item comes out, it says you have to discard two size threes. So we play these to benefit that by discarding these two, we get to gain five life. Um, this is the only reason I play these, and I'm probably going to actually up this to more. Uh, probably not this one, but this one, because this one is my favorite uh, out of these two. So I'll probably up this one up a little bit more, just so we can have more items. So once you go to the, for the item, none, none of these really matter. No Ozzy's no matter. Nothing else really matters but that one, because that's our win condition. So we want to have ways to discard two to gain the five life to keep from dying. So we'll probably up this one, and if we do up this one, it'll just be by one, but this one we may max out to the four, we're not sure yet. And alright, that has been Deck Profile with the Mamba from Total Disc Gaming, and stay tuned, we'll have a deck uh, battles, we're using this against Trey later on today. Thank you.